Hello guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a custom image that will replace a map file. And so what I've got in front of me here is uh, on the left is a picture of Steve McQueen in a car and then in the middle I have uh, just a regular map that I just generated. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this empty map here in my hand and um, we're going to generate it. And so now we have map number 67. So what we're going to do is we're going to quit to the desktop and I'm going to open up my internet browser and we're going to go to one of two places. The first is a program that you can install called image to map and if you just type it into Google and go to the main forum you'll be able to go and download it for Windows or for Linux. Another tool that I've found is entirely web-based. All you have to do is select an image file uh, so I'll select one from my desktop. Then specify how many parts you want to split it up into, which basically means uh, how many maps do you want this image to make up. So if you selected a horizontal row of two and a vertical row of two, that's four. So this image would be split up into four squares, which would make up four maps. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to do one and select it. Then we're going to adjust the colors and then number 67 and we're going to create the file now we just going to download it and it's already named appropriately it's called map underscore 67 dot data or dot dat and now I'm just going to go to my test server and go to the world folder data and we're going to find map number 67 so there it is, that's the one that we just created a minute ago. I'm going to delete it and replace it with the one we've just created with the Mustang. So now, if I go back and I run my server, and I also open up Minecraft, I can join and let's connect and now let's place number 67 so there we go it's not perfectly uh, squared I guess you would say but you could easily just fix that by going into paint and just cutting off any of the access stuff on the sides um, but that's how you would do that with the web tool so the other way I mentioned was a program called image to map and what you would do is just download it, it's a zip file and you would use WinRAR or 7-zip to open it and then go to the main folder and open up image to mapexe and it's super simple, it's a, it's a great user interface for doing this um, you can just click and drag a photo in there and it also automatically makes it a perfect square if you haven't already additionally you can open up a photo as a grid so let's say you want to do um, two rows, two columns, so four total. Click OK. And there we go. I've got an image that's now been split up into four different map files. And so when I replace four map files in my server and I put these images together, it'll make one giant image. So yeah guys, this has been a quick tutorial on how to set up custom images to replace your map files, which you can then put in item frames. If you guys have any questions about this video, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.